Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of some more Team Yankee terrain. I'm continuing my, my build to build a Team Yankee table for an upcoming Team Yankee event, Shifting Sands, which is happening the second week of January, Martin Luther King weekend, here in Mesa, Arizona. So I'm continuing to purchase my terrain. So we're going to be uh, opening up and reviewing uh, two of the newest releases for the Team Yankee terrain line. We're going to be looking at the uh, Mechanics Workshop and the Automobile uh, Garage. So let's go ahead and start with the, the big one, the Mechanics Workshop. Okay, so here's the Mechanics Workshop box. Get you guys a good look at the artwork on the top. A cool looking building. Same picture on this side and on the back. Contents one mechanics workshop. No surprise there. All right, so let's see how they've uh, packed this one up for us. Oh, looks like we get styrofoam instead of the cardboard we've been getting the last couple of releases. So that is very well packed in there. Get out. So we have the roof. Very cool detail. The blue could be touched up a little bit, I think. And we have the building itself. Very cool here as well. Nice corrugated sides you can see. Got a door in the back, a garage door here on the side, three garage doors and a door in the front. No entry on that side. Oh look there's some resin pieces. These are looks like vents or ducts. So I'm curious where these go in our box. Now I don't see, looking at the box, I don't see those bits on the Mechanics Workshop. So let me go to the website and see what I can find. Okay, so I'm checking their website on my phone and I don't see any mention of those pieces. So I don't know if that's a mist pack or just something you can add to the roof or something like that and there are six of them in here maybe that's a replacement piece for the I bet that's what it is let's open these up I bet if you don't want the skylights you could put them in there might take some trimming or something like that so I bet that's what those are for. That's very cool. They don't make mention of that on the um, box or on the website, but very cool to have those anyway. Always nice to, to get a good surprise. So that's what it looks like. Not bad. I'll go get some uh, infantry and a tank here so you can see some scale. Uh, in a moment, we'll do the uh, garages first. But there you go. This is a very, uh, very nice building. All right, so there is the Mechanics Workshop. All right, next up we have Automobile Garages. So we have two garages there, a double garage and a single garage. I guess I should mention prices here. The uh, Mechanics Workshop was um, $40 retail. And this, I believe, was $25 retail, so almost half as much as the Mechanics Workshop. And obviously what you're getting is, is a lot smaller. So yet another way to pack their terrain. And we've got them just in here. Very basic buildings. 
but kind of cool nevertheless. Single car garage. Cool roof texture on the top. You can see the paint job when it's up this close is fine. I mean, it's great. They do have, you know, they did dry, dry brush or add an edge highlight here. So it looks good. And then this is the um, double garage. Same, same exact painting style and texture. Very cool. So again, just something to spice up your Team Yankee battlefield. Uh, you got some garages, you've got a mechanics workshop. Um, I really like these. So just like my other review with the um, fast food restaurant and the convenience store, these are a matter of convenience. They're expensive. You're dropping a lot of money for terrain, but it's pre-painted. You don't have to mess with it. You can play with it right out of the box and it looks fantastic. The um, advanced hobbyists could modify these and really you don't need to be advanced. I mean, it, you wanted to change the color of these or add a stripe, that'd be very easy um, to do. Um, repainting this guy might be a little bit more challenging, but not too much. I mean, it's just a building. But um, you, you have the opportunity of um, printing these up if you want. But just out of the box, it saves you time. You don't have to build it. You don't have to worry about it. Um, it just saves your time. You're trading your time for money, for a monetary value. So for me, this is great. It's more time for me to paint tanks and infantry and all the other things I need and not necessarily worry uh, too much about my terrain. So. Um, let me get out some models so you guys can see the scale. Okay, we're back and uh, here is a look at uh, the scale. So we have an M1 Abrams. We can see it's almost twice as long as an Abrams tank, which is a pretty big tank in Flames of War. Um, you could get pretty much some cover behind that. And obviously, the Abrams is bigger than the uh, single garage. So you won't be parking your, your tank in your, your garage or your, your two-place garage anytime soon. But that gives you an idea of the scale. So um, especially this one's a nice size piece. I like that. And then um, in here, I put some infantry just so you could see what you could get. Um, so there's enough room in there. You see I've got four uh, medium and two small. You could get five medium in there. Uh, easily with no problems. Um, you can also see the interior. I guess I didn't show that last time. Um, there's nothing to it, so it's pretty nondescript. No tile like the uh, the restaurant or anything like that. It's just um, it's just black. Just painted basic black. Same thing with the bottom of the roof. Um, and then over here, I mean, you probably get two guys to climb into the that garage and a single team in that garage. So that's a again a scale comparison. All right so my final verdict on these yes if you're looking to save time should you get them. Is there any downside to them? They are expensive. I mean uh, 40 and 25. So retail you're looking at $65 just here for three pieces of terrain. <clears throat> but they look awesome. Um, is there any other downsides to it? Um, not that I, I can find. Um, I mean, these are pretty cool. The only thing I noticed fit-wise is the um, roof on here. I don't know if you can see this. It, it can actually slide. It has a lot of give. The um, This just doesn't fit snug in there. There's a lot of, a lot of sliding that can happen. But that's okay. I mean, it's a mechanics workshop. It's... <clears throat> It looks pretty awesome. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing um, and review of the um, automobile garage and the mechanics workshop for Team Yankee. If you did like this, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, give us a uh, like. We, we always appreciate that. Leave comments down below about what you think about this range. I know for my um, 
review of the fast food restaurant, there was comments about um, whether fast food restaurants like that existed in Germany and were they popular. And we did look it up. You know, uh, KFC was there in the 80s. Uh, McDonald's was there. So um, what do you guys think? Does this give you a West German, a European feel to your battlefield? I think it does. I think they look cool. So again, thanks a lot and keep on wargaming.